Now that we've defined the norm of a vector and the distance between vectors in a real inner product space, we can go ahead and prove the familiar triangle inequality in this new context. We'll prove that the norm of the sum of two vectors u and v is less than or equal to the sum of their norms. That's the familiar triangle inequality in the context of an inner product space. And then the triangle inequality for distances, that the distance between two vectors u and v is less than or equal to the distance between u and some other vector w plus the distance from w to v. Both of these properties are quite straightforward to prove. We'll begin with a proof of part A, the triangle inequality for vectors. We'll begin by squaring that quantity on the left. The norm of u plus v squared, by definition, is just the inner product of u plus v with u plus v, since the norm of u plus v is the square root of this inner product. So if we square it, we just get the inner product. Now, by the additivity property of inner products, we can split this inner product up into the inner product of u with u, plus the inner product of v with v, plus the inner product of u with v, and plus the inner product of v with u. The inner product of u with v and v with u are the same, so that's just 2 times the inner product of u with v. Now, the inner product of u with v may be negative or may be positive, but certainly this quantity is less than or equal to this one. If we take the absolute value of the inner product, at most we will increase this total quantity. But then also, by the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality, we have that the magnitude of this inner product is less than or equal to the product of the norms of those vectors u and v. I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson on the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality and how to prove it. But again, that inequality tells us that this is less than or equal to this. So of course this is less than or equal to this. Now again, understanding the definition of the norm of a vector in an inner product space, the inner product of u with itself is the same as the norm of u squared. Again, because the norm of u is just the square root of that inner product. So if we have the inner product without the square root, that's the norm squared. We then still have 2 times the product of those norms, and by the same logic, the inner product of v with v is the square of the norm of v. This, hopefully, you recognize as the familiar form of the square of a binomial. This is the norm of u plus the norm of v squared. You can see that. You've got the norm of u squared, the norm of v squared, and then 2 times the product of those terms. Hence, putting it all together, we have that the norm squared of u plus v is less than or equal to the square of the sum of the norms of u and v. Taking the square root on both sides, we then have that the norm of u plus v is less than or equal to the norm of u plus the norm of v. The proof for the second part, the triangle inequality for distances, is even more straightforward. By definition, the distance between two vectors u and v is the norm of u minus v. Now, inside those magnitude bars, we can subtract the vector w and add the vector w. This allows us to introduce this third vector w that is a necessary part of this result, and it also gives us some addition across which we can split the norm using part A, using the triangle inequality. We know from part A that the norm of u minus w plus w minus v is less than or equal to the sum of those individual norms, the norm of u minus w plus the norm of w minus v. But then by definition, this guy, the norm of u minus w, is the distance between u and w. And this guy, the norm of w minus v, is the distance between w and v. So if we have two vectors, u and v, and some third vector, w, the distance between u and w plus the distance between w and v is at least as big as the distance simply from u to v. And that's how to prove the triangle inequalities in a real inner product space. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my linear algebra course and linear algebra exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Love, love.
stressed out, honey. I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what. Don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie. I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me 